Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Bluetooth device is not appearing in your device manager settings on Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend trying would be to go and open up your magnify glass icon down in your system taskbar. Go ahead and lock click on that. And you want to type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel. And then scroll down underneath find and fix other problems and select Bluetooth, find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices and select run the troubleshooter. So Bluetooth isn't available for my device, so that's why it's not applicable, but hopefully in your case it would have been able to actually resolve the problem. Close it here, go back to the search magnifying glass and type in services. Best result, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to locate anything that has Bluetooth in the name of it and double click on it. Make sure the service status is running for all of them, and if not, select the start button. So again, make sure they are all running here might be more in your case. Again, make sure they're all running properly. Select OK. Close it here. Restart your computer as well as restarting your device and see if that resolves the problem. Something else you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the magnify glass again. Type in device manager. Go ahead and open this up. Select your account up at the top. So just click inside whatever the top drop down is here. And then select action. Scan for hardware changes. See if it finds anything. If not, now select action again and then select add legacy hardware. You're going to select next. Select install the hardware that I manually select from a list and then select next. Now you want to locate network adapters and select next. Select Intel and then select next. Select next again. Give it a moment here and then select finish. Close out of here, restart your computer, and see if that has resolved the problem. One further thing we can try here, open up the magnify glass, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on that, and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. The first one is a DISM command, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so just be patient.
Okay, so once that command's done, you're going to type in the second one here. You can paste it in, or you can just type it in, just SFC, followed by a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter to keyboard, begin the scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, we'll recommend closing out of here and restart your computer. And there you go guys, should have hopefully been able to resolve your problem. 
And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.